the real big payoff I get is not so much an increase in my disk I.O., but it's really that multiplexing of robust capability over that one convenient cable I plug into my laptop. I plug in that one cable into my laptop and it gets a power supply, USB 2.0, 3.0, hardwired LAN, robust external display support, up to three full high def displays simultaneously or two simultaneous 4K displays. And to me, if it does all of that over one cable and it does it reliably, which so far it has been reliable, I now need to see if it will continue to be reliable. If it continues to be reliable, that's a big win. This laptop is both my laptop and my desktop computer. In order to do achieve a little bit more of a desktop-like experience with this laptop when I'm in a stationary situation such as this, I'd like to actually have an extra display that would give me a little bit more room to work with when video editing. I'd also like to have a hardwired LAN hookup as well as some extra USB ports. And I might want to keep some external hard drives plugged into those USB ports. I want to make sure that they have the right power and that the throughput is really as good as it can be. Something I need to take into account when I consider some of these goals I just mentioned is the limited space I have. I tend to use like a tray table like this. I also have my other one that would help me expand out. This is it right here. I like to keep this one here. I've used this with like a tablet and Photoshop and stuff like that. Um, so the extra display could go right here. All of this led to the Dell Thunderbolt Dock TV16. Yeah, there we go. This is it right here. Well, I think it's it. I assume there's a TV16 in here and I'm going to unbox this in this video. <laughs> sure I just unboxed this correctly. Power cable. Looks like the power supply. Quick start guy. Installation. Terms of sale. Safety, environmental, and regulatory information. Oh, you know what? Can you guys come back tomorrow? I just really want to cozy up with some coffee and read this. Cardboard. Ah, this is the thing I probably should have taken out first. This is our TB16 looks like. Looks nice. Important information, you must update your computer's BIOS and Dell docking station drivers to the latest versions available at Dell support before using the docking station. Da, 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 da. Now, before um, I started making this video, I actually did update the BIOS, made sure all the drivers were up to a PDF that you can download for this from Dell. They list the details of what drivers to download and all that jazz. So starting with the top of the unit, we have a little power button. Here. And uh, this power button is supposed to behave just like the power button on the laptop. Starting on this first side here, we have the audio headphones microphone jack, two USB 3.0 type A slots, the first one there with power share. And we have a little dot here, which is an LED that indicates that this is receiving power from the power supply. If we turn to the next side here, we see that there's a little ventilation grill as well as the Kensington lock. So turning to this side, we have the old style VGA port, the HDMI port, the mini display port, the full display port. There's two USB 2.0 type A ports, the Ethernet port, Thunderbolt port, and another USB 3.0 type A port. Power uh, connector, audio line out, that would go to your stereo or to wherever you send your computer's audio output, like a, a gaming amplifier with audio speakers and that kind of thing. Turning to the final side here, we have uh, ventilation 
ignition grill along with the Thunderbolt cable that will go into the XPS 15. This is the power supply. Uh, it's just going to have your normal AC uh, power connector thing, which is going to plug into the power supply. This is the portion that obviously goes into the back of the TB16. Okay, so uh, let's start hooking this up. Well, I just ran into an interesting little anomaly here. Um, this is the connector that comes from the TB16 and plugs into the laptop. It's rather short, and the implication is this can't be located anywhere but on the same desk as the laptop or very nearby. In my case, that means using some very valuable, you know, uh, desk real estate because I don't really have a full desk here and even if I had a full desk I don't know if I'd want to be forced to have this right near and next to my laptop like this because this is short and because that means this needs to be nearby it sort of means anything that connects to this either has to have a long cable or be nearby. I have a number of external hard drives like this Seagate expansion which come with a relatively short cable. These are going to have to be nearby such as like this or like this using up more space and probably creating a little bit of a heat issue here or getting close to doing that. Another little anomaly I notice here is that the connector cable that comes from the TB16 and goes into the laptop comes out of this side. I would consider this to be sort of the back of this unit because this would tend to have cables that things that I'm not generally interested in, in interacting with often. By contrast, the other side has the two USB ports, including the one with PowerShare and the headphones. Those I would consider to be the front. If those are the front and they're facing me, the TB16 cable seems to be coming out this way away from the laptop and therefore I need to use some length of the cable to wrap around into the Thunderbolt port on the laptop here. I was thinking I would like to have the display over here because I'd like to make this display the center of focus and I like my auxiliary la uh, display to be on my right hand side here. It's just the way I've done things in the past. Well, if I want to put this near the display, which was one of my ideas, keep all the bulky um, extra items kind of together, well, sorry, no can do, not with this built-in cable. There's just not enough length to do that. If I had more of a desk, I could actually maybe do something like this, but my desk here, which is a quote-unquote desk, but this is my work area, um, it's just not going to work that way. So another alternative, just put the TB16 here, plug it in like so, and then I guess the display would go here. I realize my setup here is small, and that's just my setup, so this is my opinion of this kind of uh, cable length and whatnot. So let me continue now and install. So it's plugged into the wall and you got this nice blue LED. Now I'm going to plug it into the back of the TB16. You can see that the LED on uh, this side lights up. So we have our uh, uh, Thunderbolt uh, 3 connector here which is going into the laptop. Now, after I've done that, the laptop then prompts me here down near the system tray and it's now asking me uh, to acknowledge that some Thunderbolt devices have been detected and I'm going to click some boxes there to actually acknowledge that I see that message and then it's going to ask me do I want to always let those devices uh, connect or only one time and so forth. So basically I'm going to click OK and I'm going to say yes to the uh, security prompt there. At the Thunderbolt security prompt, I'm going to approve both the cable and the dock to always be able to connect without asking for further approval. Now those are all going to connect up. So now I've set everything up here and I, I wanted to put this here because it would share the, the bulk that this takes up with this. I would much more prefer to have this over um, on the other side over here. 
Okay, so this is the setup that I really like in terms of monitors. We got the primary monitor with the primary keyboard and the start menu on the left edge of those. And then I've got my extra workspace that I can use as I wish whenever this is not enough. And that's usually over to my right. And this is just my personal preference. Everybody does things different ways. Okay, so with that arrangement, there's plenty of room for the mouse here, which is nice. Uh, but then we've got this sort of wasted space here. I'd like this to be a little further over and I don't know, I guess I could move this forward a little bit and tuck this back here, you know, I mean, I guess I can tuck this back here, uh, but then it's really hard to get to these ports back here. I guess the short version of what I'm trying to say here is the cable, it's all really this cable. And I know sometimes lengthy cables are not good due to power loss and or uh, signal problems or interference issues, um, any number of different things. My guess is there's a good reason why they have a short cable on here. As if I could put this on the floor, boy, this would be great. I mean, I I don't need this. I mean, this is not doing anything on my desk. I'm not inserting anything into this regularly or removing it. And I think that's maybe what the purpose is, is to have this on the desk so you can insert and remove things from here. But in my case, I don't really have to do that. Not a big deal for people who have the huge desk, but those who are really trying to work within a very limited space, this may be an important thing. And for me, it is an important thing. Oh, and he likes the mouse. Go figure, a cat that likes a mouse. Oh, and he likes the mouse. Go figure, a cat that likes a mouse. Anyway, I shot this video uh, a couple days ago and I wanted to insert some comments if that's all right. I have to say, after using this for a couple of days, I found it to be both reliable and useful, despite the fact that there is that very short cable that makes it a little bit inconvenient in terms of where to place it. That short cable makes it difficult for me to treat the laptop in a semi-mobile manner when I'm sitting here at home working. And I like to do that with my laptop when I'm sitting here working. I don't dock it and make it freeze there on the table where it doesn't move. I like to sit here on the couch with the laptop here or, you know, on this tray. And um, the short cable on the TB16 makes it so I've got to be really careful about how I move this laptop around. I decided to accept that, you know, shortcoming and just work with it somehow. So I decided to forget about traditional docking station setups on the table and all that. It started opening up my eyes that I could just keep the external display up there. It doesn't need to be the left or the right of the laptop. And that works out rather nicely because there's very long cables that go from the display to the TB16. So I can put this thing like over there or over there or over there. It doesn't really matter. This is a really nice location because it's off to the side over here and I can use it for extra video editing uh, screen real estate as needed. And I set up this laptop tray table with the laptop right here and the TB16 hooked up and sitting right here. Having the TB16 here is really no different than actually hooking an external hard drive to my laptop and having the hard drive sit right here, which I've done before too. So I didn't really find it all that inconvenient that the TB16 was sitting here. I'd still like it to have a longer cable, but what I'm saying is this worked fine while I was doing video editing here. So if I need to get up, I'd very often take my laptop and just put it here and I can still do that. I just put it right there and I get up. If that TV 16 is too far forward, it's gonna stretch the port right here a little bit. So I've gotta be very careful with that short cable when I move this around. So an additional thing I wanted to add about this Thunderbolt dock and the Thunderbolt 3 connection to this laptop is that just because there's a Thunderbolt 3 connection to this laptop uh, from this docking station does not mean the I.O. to my external disks are all of a sudden going to be really speedy or faster. Most of my external hard drives are typical consumer drives and they are the bottleneck in all of my disk I.O. None of my external hard drives even reach the maximum speeds of USB 3.0, much less USB 3.1. So I don't really expect that adding Thunderbolt 3 capability here um, is really gonna help me much. After all, my hard drives are still USB hard drives and since they were the bottleneck on my other USB systems, they're still gonna be the bottleneck here. 
The real big payoff I get with Thunderbolt 3 is not so much an increase in my disk I.O., but it's really that multiplexing of robust capability over that one convenient cable I plug into my laptop. I plug in that one cable into my laptop and it gets a power supply, USB 2.0, 3.0, hardwired LAN, robust external display support, up to three full high def displays simultaneously or two simultaneous 4K displays. And to me, if it does all of that over one cable and it does it reliably, which so far it has been reliable, I now need to see if it will continue to be reliable. If it continues to be reliable, that's a big win. All right, that's it for this one, and hope you'll come by and watch some more. Thanks again for watching this one, and take care.